I thought that I would do a makeup tutorial today. Um, I've been getting a lot of uh, DMs about doing one and the reason why I don't do them often is because I've already done one um, for my regular makeup look and I honestly just do that every day. So um, I feel like it'd be super boring if I just filmed makeup tutorials often because I literally do the same look every day. But not today. Today I'm going to do a rainbow eyeshadow look. I'm super excited about it. I've done it before but like a long long time ago and it turned out really good so but I haven't done it in so long so I don't know how it's gonna go today but I thought this was a great opportunity to do some filming um, for this tutorial. So uh, I have mapped it out on my arm here. Basically, I'm going to do one eye like this with the warm colors and then one eye like that with the cool colors. Um, so one eye and then one eye. And I have already moisturized my face. I've already primed it with the Pore Professional Primer. And I have gone in with my blending brush and I just... Um, add some white shadow down first. I find it helps with the blending and um, it also makes the bright colors pop a little bit better with a little bit of white down first. So that's what I do. And I like to do my shadow first and then do um, my skin with the foundation because I find I can get a cleaner line that way. So I'm using three different palettes. Um, you can use whatever rainbow palette you have. Um, I just happen to have a lot. So <laughs> um, I'm using a few different shades from each because I just liked these shades. So I'm using the yellow and the green from this palette. This is a BH Cosmetic Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Super fun. And then I am using the red from this palette, which is the Raw Beauty Christie palette. I love that one too. And this is actually my go-to palette for everyday looks, which probably is not yours, but <laughs> um, this is what I use every day. So it's the Sephora Pro palette. Um, this is the editorial one with all the fun colors. Um, this is my go-to favorite palette. It is very good quality. Um, I've tried even more expensive ones than this, and this one is my favorite. Um, it also comes in more neutral tone shades, but like similar formula. I have um, one that is more neutral shades and I love that one just as much. So Sephora Pro palette, it's awesome. This is actually my second palette that I've purchased to replace the same one. So that's how you know you really like a palette because usually I like to buy new ones, but no, this one's amazing. So I am going to start with the warm tones over here. So I'm going to start with the yellow shade and I'm just going to go into that and I'm going to put it on the inner corner. Oh wow, that is, that's, that's very yellow. So I'm going to just do that and I'm going to bring it up pretty close to the brow bone because I want it to be really colorful and very noticeable. So yeah, which it is. It's very yellow. All right. That looks good. Just add some more to the actual lid there. Amazing. That was good. Okay. Whenever I'm doing these fun looks, I always just um, clean my brush with one of these. These work so good. It actually is from Sephora. Whatever this material is, you just wipe your brush on it and it gets rid of the previous color and it works freaking amazing. So love that because then you don't have to have a million brushes for a million different colors. Um, now I'm going to go into the orange and I believe it was this, yes, this shade of orange. And I'm just going to do this in the middle. Oh yeah, that looks freaking awesome. You know, just your casual everyday rainbow <laughs> makeup tutorial. It's great, it's so fun.
love it. I get a lot of comments saying, um, like, oh, why do you wear makeup? You look so pretty without makeup, which thank you, I appreciate that. Um, makeup to me is an art form. I find it super fun and creative. So um, it's not necessarily always about covering up how you naturally look. It's actually about um, being creative and having fun and using your face as a canvas. So, um, but I do appreciate all the kind comments saying that I look very pretty without makeup. That makes me so happy. You guys are so kind and I really appreciate the love and support. So, okay. So now I have the yellow with the orange. This is so fun. I love it. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with the red on the end. Yeah, I'll stick with this brush. This brush is actually working really well. Okay, so I'm gonna just, yeah, that looks well. Okay, just blend that in there a little bit. Since red is such a dark color, I don't wanna go too much crazy over the orange there. Although I can touch up the orange after. So, I found a new Netflix show that is freaking amazing. Um, I actually saw it on uh, my friend Jamie's story. Um, Jamie, she owns Bryco Design. She's a very talented um, interior designer and she's part of my woman networking group and she's honestly just a really awesome nice person so um but she posted that she was watching this new show on Netflix and it is like I forget what it's called but it's like the coolest vacation rentals in the world show um and we started watching it last night and now I really want to travel so so bad I miss it so much um Chad and I have traveled to so many freaking places. We did so much traveling in our 20s and I'm so glad that we did because haven't been able to go anywhere the last couple of years. So um, I'm just taking my clean blending brush and I'm gonna blend this out a little bit on the edges here um, and kind of blend the shades into each other a little bit. Um, but yeah, I wanted to ask you guys, what do you guys think about traveling now? Like, do you think that it's safe to travel? Do you think like, I, I literally don't know. Um, I don't know what to do. We really want to go away in, uh, November because November, um, the beginning of November is like our slower season and it's right before... Christmas and we do a major um, Black Friday sale so we wanted to go away like the beginning of November and I don't know we want to go to either Greece or Hawaii um, those are the two places that we're thinking about but I just don't know because I don't know if things are going to get cancelled and then I don't want to book things and then not get a refund from the freaking airlines because they're kind of crazy so what are you guys doing? Have, you, have anybody traveled since COVID has been happening? Um, let me know and let me know how it went. Um, Chad and I are both getting fully vaccinated, um, which I personally don't give a crap if you are getting vaccinated or not. I think that is your decision and I don't think that it's great one way or the other. Um, I just want to be able to live my life and travel, so uh, that's why I decided to get vaccinated. Um, generally not the biggest fan of putting weird stuff in my body, but for the sake of living a relatively normal life, that's what we decided to do. So um, I would assume that if you are vaccinated that hopefully it's a bit easier to travel um 
and safer for sure, hopefully. So I don't know if anyone's traveled, let me know. Let me know how it went. So I'm just going back and forth with these colors here to get it as bright as I want it to be and as blended as it can be without actually blending too much so that you don't see all of the shades. So that is what I'm doing. I'm gonna add a little bit of white actually to the top here to kind of blend it out at the edges a bit. Oh, but yeah, this show that we're watching is magical. You should definitely watch it. It shows like the coolest um, places that you can rent on like Airbnb and stuff like that. And it, it's not just like um, really luxury high-end ones. It actually shows a luxury one, a budget-friendly one, and then I forget what the other category is, but it shows you three different categories. I think the middle category is... Um, like the most unique ones. So we just watched the first episode last night and it was so beautiful. It was in Bali and we've been to Bali before, but I would love to go back. Bali is so freaking beautiful. Um, yeah. And I just, I feel too like, I'm just gonna clean this up on the edges a bit. I feel too like even though we did so much traveling in our twenties, um, we're such different people now that I think that we would appreciate things a lot more and I think we would just, I think even though we've traveled to a lot of places already, even if we went back there, I think that it would be um, almost like a whole new experience just based on being at different stages in our lives and having a different level of appreciation for things too, so that's what I think. Now I'm going to go back into all of these colors that I used and I'm going to go into the crease and darken them up at the crease. Okay, so I have orange, so I'm going to just add that in there. Yeah, I don't really notice that too much, so maybe that's, maybe that's not really a great idea. Let's try with the yellow. Hmm, yeah, yellow. Brighten it up. Okay, it's coming along. Do some orange up here. All right, well, I think this is coming along all right. Is anyone actually gonna try this though, or is this too much for most people? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I feel like this with my hair, my blue hair, I don't care, it's fun. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Happy with that. So now I'm gonna go on to this eye. Um, afterwards, I'm gonna go like do some under eye color here too, but I'm gonna leave that till the end. Um, I'm gonna do the cool tones now. So these ones, I'm gonna do green at the inner corner and then blue and then purple on the outer. So let's try that side. What are you guys doing this weekend? Do you guys have a long weekend or do you get Canada Day off? Um, this weekend I am doing a photo shoot and a collaboration with Ultimate Slumber Parties. And um, what they do is they set up um, really cool tent setups and displays. Um, in your backyard and you can have a little glam glamping party um, they do different different types of tents um, they're setting up a bell tent for us and an outdoor movie theater thing for us and 
Um, I'm bringing some of my treats and I'm gonna be doing the photos for it. So I'm really excited about that. It should be really fun. And we're setting it up in my friend Jerrica's backyard because um, she has a really nice backyard with a lot of grass and stuff. And my backyard is literally all deck. So that's what we're doing this weekend. I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be really fun. Um, if you're not already following Ultimate Slumber Parties, go follow them on Instagram and check their page out. They set up like the nicest, uh, coolest setups. And from my understanding, you can actually um, sleep in the tents too. Uh, really fun party idea for kids actually. So definitely check them out. Um, this is looking pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the purple, which I'm trying to think which purple it was. I think it was this one. On the edge here. This really isn't as difficult as I actually thought it might be. Um, these colors are all standing out really nicely. So now I'm just using my clean blending brush and kind of blending it a little bit out here. So that's what we're doing this weekend and then next weekend Chad and I are going up to Muskoka for a few days. Um, Muskoka is literally my happy place. Um, I would love to move there one day or get a cottage up there one day. Um, it is just I, always, I grew up like going camping up there every single year and I have a lot of really nice memories up there um, with my Oma and Opa and stuff and I just like in Algonquin area and I just freaking love it up there and I love the outdoors, I love all of the outdoor activities, I like kayaking, I like canoeing, um, I like fishing, hiking, I just... I'd be living my best freaking life out there. So hopefully one day we can get a cottage or something out there. Uh, I don't know if I could actually move up there because I am pretty obsessed with our house that we have here in Tilsonburg. So I don't know, we will see. But anyways, we're going up there next, uh, next weekend and I am super freaking excited. I love, love, love it up there. Such a beautiful freaking drive too. We love doing road trips. Um, we always try and take the back roads everywhere and it is so scenic and so beautiful. And it makes the drive so much more enjoyable than taking the 40 freaking one. Okay, so, well, this is looking really good. I'm really happy with it. Blending it out with a little bit of white on the edges now. This literally was so much easier than I actually thought it was going to be because I've seen so many pictures of this done before and it looks really intimidating, um, but it's not. So all you do is just add the colors like that and blend it out. I do think it does need to come up close to the brow bone in order to give it that like wow effect because if you just do it on the lid i don't think it has the same effect so um especially if you have like lashes or if you're doing like lash fake lashes like strip lashes or even mascara um you definitely want it to be able to stand out um any makeup look that you do it is all about blending <laughs> I'm not a professional makeup person, but I just know that I've watched a lot of YouTube tutorials and stuff like that. Um, cool, I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna go in with a wipe and clean up my under eye area. And this is why I do my eyeshadow first. Um, 
and then just up the side there and it makes it really crisp on the edges too so that's why I really like to do that cool I think that looks super fun um, and yeah I think that that is good I'm going to leave that I don't know I do kind of want to darken up the the um, crease a little bit so I'm just going to take some darker shades of these colors like a navy blue and I'm going to put it like that I think yeah just over top of the whole thing because navy blue will deepen it up but it's not like black so it won't look like wow why do you have a black line on your eye I probably shouldn't do that with the other side. I'm going to do that with a dark red, I think. Yes, I'm going to do that with a burgundy color. So, let's... I, I really can't see where my crease is on my phone, so... And I just think that that really like deepens it up a little bit there. So I'm just gonna blend it out a tiny bit on the yellow. Yeah, it just adds a little bit of depth to the eye. So that's good. I think it's a bit much on the yellow part though, so I'm just gonna add some yellow over top so it doesn't look so drastic there. Yeah, I like that, that's awesome. Okay, so now what I am going to do is I'm going to add um, some highlighter to my brow bone and I have been in, obsessed with this Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, she, I think these were limited edition, but she has other ones now and her highlighters are the bomb. Like as you can see, I use it all the time. I use it every day. Um, it's my favorite for sure. So I'm going to go in to some highlight and go over my brow bone area here. You can see the difference it makes. Amazing. And I'm going to do my inner corner of my eyes too with a little bit of highlight on top of the color there to make it kind of pop a little bit. You can see it just adds some shine and it lightens it up there actually quite a bit, so. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to do my face. I'm just gonna get my hair out of the way here. And I am obsessed with this. this is my favorite foundation. It is the only foundation I wear and it is freaking amazing. It is full coverage, it stays all day. Um, it doesn't make my face greasy or oily or anything. It is freaking awesome. It is Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. Um, I have a backup one here because it's my go-to for sure. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I will speed up this part of the video because it just takes a long time to actually blend it properly. So. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. So I always put some on my hand here. And I like to use a sponge, a blending sponge. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna blend away. Um, 
Um, obviously my face is a tiny bit lighter than my skin because in the summertime I just drive with the top down in my Jeep and uh, I get a little red-ish tan. Um, I don't really tan very well, like it usually burn. Um, but I'm gonna go in with some bronzer at the end and it will all match much better. So that's what I do. When you're um, blending out your foundation, just make sure you spend some extra time blending it, especially um, into your neck there. But you can see that this foundation has really good coverage because I did have some blemishes down here and you can't really see them. So love that foundation. So now I'm gonna go in with my brows. And I do have my brows um, done by Jazz Brow Boss in St. Thomas. And so that's why they already look pretty good, but I'm gonna go in and fill them in. Um, they look really good with a natural look, but when I do crazy makeup, um, I need to fill them in a little bit to <laughs> like blend in, I don't know. Um, I'm actually gonna look in the mirror doing this because really don't want to mess this up. <laughs> so you can see the difference. This is the one that I just did and this is the one um, that I haven't done yet. But you can see that with the makeup does look good if you pencil it in a little bit. Um, I do find it a lot easier to uh, pencil in now that I have the brow tattoo. So I think it makes it a lot easier and uh, just it looks good with a natural look for sure, so. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good for my brows. Um, it is impossible to get them perfect, so I think that's pretty good. Uh, I'm just gonna go and blend underneath them a little bit. And now I'm going to do my eyeliner. I use a liquid liner. I love the liquid liner. It works really well and it stays on really good, most importantly. Okay, so once I do this, I do the wing out there and then I just bring the wing um, underneath, a little black liner underneath as well, so. That's what I do. I'm gonna do it on the other side and then I just make sure I don't have any of this on my lashes, otherwise it will go everywhere. Okay, now the liner is done and it is pretty much symmetrical-ish, um, as good as it's gonna get anyways. So, um, I have the highlight going down a little bit underneath my eye like that. And now I'm going to um, do the same colors up here, down here a little bit. So let's uh, try that and see what it looks like. I'm gonna try doing it with a flat brush and hopefully it doesn't have too much fallout there. Let's start with yellow. So I have some yellow on my brush. I'm going to Um, if you're working with uh, colorful palettes and uh, you want the color to show up more, all you have to do is just wet your brush with water and um, go into your palette and it will actually make it go on a lot brighter. Um, these palettes are all pretty good though, so I don't really need to do that, but if you're finding that it's not showing up as well as you want it to, then that's the trick. So. So now I'm going to do some orange there in the middle. Okay, 
that created some fallout there, but I will clean that up after. And then I'm going to do some red. Awesome. Chin is really good, so usually I can clean it up a little bit without wrecking my foundation. So I just go in with a wipe and wipe up the fallout. And then I will just stamp over top of that with my blending sponge. Okay, and now it matches the top, so that's fun. Let's do the other side. I'm just going to do the exact same on the other side with these top colors. So um, for those of you who don't know, my book is um, has been sent to printing, which is super exciting. Um, so basically everything is finished all of the work on my end is done all of the editing is done and it's just been sent to printing now so printing takes about four to six weeks they said and then um, they're shipping a bunch of books to my house and i will make sure they're all good and then from there i will set a launch date um once i have seen the book myself so that's how it's going uh, I really enjoyed the process of writing. I love writing. Um, more importantly, I love what writing offers to people because um, I have personally found so much um, inspiration personally in my own life and um, better ways to better my own life just from reading books and listening to podcasts. So. That's what I am super passionate about, uh, giving back and sharing my knowledge and everything that I have learned in order to create the life that I have always wanted to have with you guys so that you can do that too. Because I think personally that everybody should create the life that they have always dreamed of because you only get one and you should live it the way that you want to and make yourself happy and fulfilled. Got some fallout there, so I'm just cleaning that up. And then I'm gonna go and stamp some foundation over top. So yeah, I hope that um, my book offers inspiration to people. I hope that it helps people realize their potential and set bigger goals for themselves. And I hope that uh, it opens their eyes to let them know that you can create a amazing life. And whatever that looks like to you is probably different to me, but the fundamentals of creating it are the same and that's what's in my book. So super excited for that to come out and to launch. And that's what's the update with that. So, oh, and our stores, our bakery store locations are all open now for walk-in, which is super exciting. We didn't need to like keep them closed for that long because technically um, we are considered uh, like takeout food place, so we could have had it open. But honestly, I didn't want to risk it with our staff and stuff like that, and I wanted to make sure they were comfortable the whole time. So we just kept it closed. It really didn't make a difference for us. We do a lot of deliveries and stuff like that, and to be honest, I just wanted to be very risk adverse on that. So I don't want anybody to get sick. 
because that would freaking suck. Um, and so that's why we closed it, even though we didn't have to, like we were still operating, but it was just the staff in there. We didn't have customers come inside. Um, and yeah, so we're open now. So that's super exciting. Um, and this is our first week uh, finally back to being open. And it is so cool to see your pictures in the stores again. And I know that our staff are really excited to see you guys and help you in person again, um, as opposed to curbside pickup at the door. Not exactly the experience we want to be providing, but unfortunately the circumstances are out of our control. So amazing. So I think that this look came together awesome. Now I am going to um, set my face with some powder. Um, I'm just, I use this powder. It's not really my favorite, but it's the only one I have right now. Um, and it's just a white uh, finishing powder. So it sets my foundation. And then I will go in with some bronzer over top of that. And then blush and highlight. And then we're pretty much done. So you will have to let me know if you try this crazy colorful look. I literally don't know what to wear with this now because, well, I mean, actually, I think everything should match because I got every color on my face. So. <laughs> so I'm just gonna gently powder my face. Um, this foundation is so light for being such a full coverage foundation. Like, I don't know, it is like the perfect formula because I hate when makeup feels like you're wearing makeup um, because this does not, like it feels so light. And setting it just um, makes it stay in place even better all day and it, um, makes your face more like matte, so like less shiny from the foundation, which is awesome. Now that my face is set with the powder, I'm going in with the um, bronzer next. So this is where it will just bronze up my face, bring it back to life without this ghostly appearance. <laughs> uh, my skin is naturally super, super light. So <sighs> bronzer helps with that. Just add some color back into my face. If you guys really enjoy like watching me do makeup tutorials and stuff like that, let me know because if it's something like these videos do really, really well. And if it's something you guys really enjoy, then I can totally come up with some pretty cool and creative uh, makeup looks. I just never thought really to do that. Um, but I love makeup and I have so many fun palettes and stuff, so if you guys want, you just let me know and I will make that happen. Even if you let me know like a theme of makeup to do, I can come up with a really cool look, like cotton candy makeup or um, I don't know, like a mermaid style makeup or unicorn makeup. I mean, I feel like this is kind of unicorny, but let me know. Let me know what kind of videos you want um, because I just want to make content that you guys enjoy and you know if you're like no don't do any more makeup tutorials they're too crazy for me that is fine too and I totally totally get that. <laughs> I just don't like doing a lot of neutral looks. Um, I have one neutral look that's like really pretty. I could do that one for you guys if you want a neutral look. Um, and it's very like mauve, like soft pink mauve. 
and kind of smoky. And that's the only neutral look that I like. And it looks not neutral at all, <laughs> but it's like the neutral shades. So that's the only one I really like on myself. Um, I don't know, I just love seeing color. Like my house is super colorful. I am super colorful. Um, my bakery is super colorful. My products are really colorful. That's how you know that everything is genuine and authentic because it all reflects the rainbow of life. I don't know. I just love color, so. As you can see, the bronzer really helps to bring me back to life. Look like a human again, not a ghost. <laughs> um, yeah. Do any of you guys do um, self tanning at all? If you do, let me know. Or spray tanning, I guess. Um, I'm thinking about going to get a spray tan at some point. I love the way it looks. Um, I'm not a fan of like normal tanning, although I'm not against it. I really don't like, I am like the most neutral person. If you want to go and do something, it is none of my business to have an opinion about that and vice versa. So that's literally how I run my life. Um, the only time I will have an opinion and say it to you is if you are being a mean person or bullying somebody, I will freaking stand up for that because I hate that so much. I think there is no place in the world for bullying or making people feel less than or uh, making fun of people. It is like, breaks my heart. So that is when I have a problem. Other than that, I just think you should do whatever makes you feel your best whatever you personally love um, and I respect what you do and I expect that people respect what I do. So that's, that's my values of life right there. Mind your own business. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything and let people live their lives the way that they want to, provided they're not being mean to people. That's where I draw the line. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with blush. Um, I'm using just, this is my go-to blush shade over here. This palette's really nice. Um, it is very pigmented, so I find I have to be really careful with how I apply it, otherwise it will have like patches, <laughs> like it'd be too dark. Um, so I'm just really careful with how I apply it, but I like the shades in it. <laughs> and I just very lightly um, put it on. I don't know what shade of lipstick I'm gonna do with this look. <laughs> Either pink or red. Um, I'm gonna have to hold up some shades to my face to kind of see. I feel like it's gonna look a little crazy no matter what, which I'm fine. I'm fine with a little crazy. I think that we all need a little fun and craziness in our lives. Um, I'm just blending out this brush blush now. Um, so it's not super blushy. <laughs> do you like how I make up my own words? I actually do that in real life. Chad always makes fun of me. I make up the weirdest words. And you know what? I'm always like, well, you can make fun of me. That's cool. But you know, I think that I keep your life pretty freaking interesting with my weirdness. So <sighs> I think life is pretty boring if you're not weird and not having fun and if you're caring too much what people think that is you're just not living life for yourself at that point you're living life for other people and i am not for that so okay i think that looks pretty good now i'm going to I actually love this rainbow look. Maybe this will be my new look. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm going to go into my highlight palette again, and I'm going to highlight certain parts of my face. Um, 
I try not to go too overboard with this because it can look a little cray cray. So I'm gonna just do my lip. Like you can see the difference that the highlight makes. It just really accents certain spots. I'm gonna do here, just my cheekbone. And then on the side there, looks good. I really admire people who can contour their face with darker shades down here um, and really shape the look of their face. I really admire that. I've done it a few times and it does look good, but it takes substantially longer for me to do. And I just don't care to do it, but I think that it is so cool that other people can do it. Um, so. Adding some highlight here. And I blend it out with my brush also. and starting to look like my colorful self. Okay, now all that's left to do is I'm gonna put some mascara on my lower lash line and then I'm gonna do my hair and then brighten, come here, come say hi. Brighten wants to come do her makeup too. Come here, come here. What are you doing, come here. Hello, come say hi. Oh, come say hi. Mwah. Do you want colorful makeup too? You're so sweet. Yes, you want to come say hi to everybody? Yeah, you're so cute. Um, and then I'm gonna do my hair and I'll show you, I'll come back on and show you once I have my lower lash line done, my lipstick and my hair. So this is the finished look. Um, I went with uh, red liquid lipstick. I love the Stila brand ones. I just seen that they have these in Shoppers Drug Mart now, so these are my favorite. Um, I went with the shade, it's called Baca. Not Becca, Baca. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that. <clears throat> but I love this shade. Um, is it a bit much with all of this? Maybe. Do I care? No. I think that a bit much actually is my style. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I am really happy with how it turned out. Uh, I honestly think that um, if you did like just this shadow on both eyes or just that shadow on both eyes, like it would be really pretty um, as its own look. And I don't know, I just think it is super fun to have rainbow eyeshadow so let me know if you guys are going to try it or if it's too over the top for you um but i had a lot of fun doing it and i hope you had some fun chatting with me and watching this video so cheers we will talk soon